Vice is all about impact protection and safety for athletes in the games they play. So that drive to kind of create the safest and highest performing products has developed some pretty unique and game-changing technologies. The first pads that we used, carbon lattice, was in the Zero Two helmet. We knew we wanted a lattice structure in our helmet. Working with the lattice, we quickly realized that it can perform better for impacts than the foam that we were using. We said, all right, where are we going to put this in our helmet? Let's do our comfort pods in this lattice. There are six of them in the helmet. Started testing it on our full rig and showed quite a bit of improvement in the numbers. Day in the life of a test engineer is usually hanging out in the smash lab. Running through prototypes, trying to get the best performing helmet we can and using all the tools that we have at our disposal to do that. When I first saw Harbin, I lost my mind. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. You could actually take this part, 3D print it in whatever crazy geometry you could come up with, because it's a lot more flexible than traditional machining stick it in a helmet, test it, and get repeatable results, so much so that we can actually put it on a player in the field. It was mind-blowing. It still is mind-blowing. Like, I can't believe that we're doing this. <laughs> Being able to print the final product has completely changed how you design, how you develop. We're not stuck in one lane anymore. I can design something, immediately print it within a day here. I can be testing that pad and immediately get results and be like, okay, this is too soft, this is too stiff. We'll already have the new pad and just be that much closer to getting the final product. We're no longer testing materials that are close to the final product. This is the final product. What we test in-house is exactly what's gonna be out on the field, so there's no guessing anymore. NFL gave us a protocol. They said, look, these are the important velocities and vectors that a quarterback is more likely to see. So we were able to use their protocol to tailor our helmet to better protect the quarterback. Using Carbon's design engine, it allows us to make small tweaks really quickly. Because of that, the overall pads are lighter and they can compress more, so you gain offset through our pad now. We're able to make an exact to the player, to the scan fit. That's something we've never been able to do before. It's really about making the best thing that we possibly can and using the technology around us to do that. The carbon technology has helped us build a helmet that we would not be able to otherwise. And at the same time, the challenges of kind of using our lattice to fill a space is helping drive carbon's technology and improve that design engine workflow. It's very cool. Thank you.